welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another motherfucking video. You already know. It's your girl Melissa. And if you guys see me, I'm in my kitchen, so you already know what it is. It's gonna be another cooking video for you guys. This has been a long-awaited video. Like I've been saying I'm gonna film this video for you guys every time I do this dish i guess you can say but i always like tend to forget like to record myself you know so guess what today's the day i'm like you know what melissa it's 2020 i've been contemplating a lot about my life and i'm like just pick up the camera and start recording and that's what i'm gonna do today i'm gonna be showing you guys my followers my supporters i guess i don't know how to make ceviche this is like super easy like back when i was growing up like i didn't realize it is easy but it's just a lot of like chopping that's like the sucky part but yeah it's actually pretty easy it's not that bad and yeah i got my honey on the background over here he's gonna help me thanks shout out to my honey because he's always helping me when i need the help it's either with sophia or here in the kitchen he's always helping me so shout out to my man because there's only so little men out there like him you know if that's how i say it, if that's how you say it it's fine honey <laughs> oh look at my honey being all shy look at it let's get this i was supposed to pop up let's get this video started okay so we have in our kitchen counter we have all of those ingredients that we need to make the ceviche we have everything guys and just an fyi if i come out here talking spanish sometimes i'm sorry just for a heads up it just comes out so yeah um we have here we're gonna run you guys down on what we have i have this i have the shrimp already here it's already pre-cut my dad works like at a i'm not even gonna say it, just, my dad got me already the shrimp he bought he brings me like a lot of shrimp it's already pre-cut he pre-cut it for me already and yeah, I'm just gonna wash it a little, you know. Get this. So we got our shrimp here. We got our crab right here. Our crab, because he also like to put like crab in it, like haiba, you know. Then we got our chile serranos right here. We have more over here, but just we have more over there. But I just put some here in the plate just to make it look cute, you know. You know me. You know me. And then we got like a cucumber right here. We might just need one. If not, we'll have another one in the fridge. But I think we just need one. Obviously, you need your cilantro here too. I got some tomatoes and purple onion. And just another FYI. You can use any, like the gold or the, like, the white onion. doesn't matter. But for perf uh, purple preference, I like this purple onion better. Or the purple onion better. I feel like it's more sweeter. I don't know. I feel like it tastes different and in a good way, you know? And then this big old bowl right here, we got some lemons because, yes, you're gonna need a lot, a lot of lemon. You're gonna need a bunch of limones because it's lo que le da el sabor al ceviche. Plus, oh my god, I almost forgot, plus the salt. You guys cannot. Are we gonna wash this already? Yes, yeah, you can, please, honey. You can do it already. You you cannot forget the sal because the sal is what gives the sabor. Like this is what gives the flavor. And obviously, if you want, either you can put my dad puts a little bit. Of, I don't really like lemon. Yeah, and then yeah, and then you want it and you can drain it. You know the thing. There's a drainer if you need it. <laughs> so yeah, like um, my honey here is such a helpful. But yeah, um, I didn't get a kiss. You want a kissy? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, what, oh, you see, I lost myself. What was I gonna say? Damn it, he distracts me all the time. Um, but yeah, I forgot. What, oh yeah, you could put um, the V8, just a little bit. I know my dad puts a little bit of it. I don't have any, so I'm not gonna put any, but it does taste really bomb, so you just put like a little bit of the V8. Just so it makes it more like a tomato-ish, but like lemon-ish, but like spicy-ish, you know, a good combo. That good combo, you already know. So yeah, guys, aquí está todo ya. Look how it looks. It's all still fresh because, of course, we're going to make it fresh. 
And right now, for you guys, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it's going to be cut. I'm going to show you guys when it's cut. Obviously, you guys are not going to see the process because it's a long process to cut everything. Yeah. Because we don't like lazy choppers. I like my freaking vegetables to be well cut. I like everything to be well cut, you know, because we have a... A picky it a picky eater right here. Ni puedo hablar. I have a picky eater right here. It's bien melindroso este niño aquí, so I have to make sure I cut those things pretty fine, so he doesn't really taste the flavor. But yeah, guys. Um, ah, that's, that's that's what I'm doing today for you guys. I'm so excited to film this video. I don't even know why, but I'm just excited I like to film videos for you guys. Even though not a lot of people watch me, but the people who do, I with you. Okay guys, so as soon as I'm done cutting everything up, I'll be right back and I'll be showing you guys. Okay, wow, wow, wow. Aquí está todo lo que necesitamos. The shrimp is getting washed right now, getting prepped. And I'm going to cut this and I will be right back. Okay, you guys. We just uh, put the lemon right here inside the shrimp. Y'all can see. We're about to let it sit for about an hour. Or two? No, like until it turns pinkish. Until it turns pink, which is uh, like 35 40 minutes. So an, an hour. hour. An hour so it gets a good taste. So we'll see y'all in an hour. Yeah, careful. So we got Melissa cutting the pepinos right here. Yes, I'm finishing cutting up the veggies. Chris already. Yeah. Pretty much put the shrimp to go sit, and how you cook this raw shrimp is obviously you drench it in um you drench it in a bunch of limon, like it literally has to be puddled, covered. Can you show an example, Chris? Well, bam. Like that literally has to be like swimming in the freaking limon, and then you put it in the. So okay, so after that's done, I'm just gonna give you guys a little recap, real quick. So um, estas um pones el limon for the shrimp. Don't, don't go up too close, person. No. You put the, um, so once it's like drenching in limon, you put it in the fridge, which Chris is gonna do in a bit. He's gonna put it in the fridge. 35 to Mommy, 35 Mommy. minutes to an hour. And you have to, within those, within that time range, make sure to keep looking at your shrimp when it turns pink. And please mix it. As you're watching it, mix it. Because the one in the bottom can, like, you know, because, you know, you just gotta mix it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys the process. I'll show you, I got you guys. But yeah, I'm going to continue chopping it up. So you guys, we're going to check up on the shrimp right now. It's only been like 20 minutes, but let's give it a shot. Oh wow, now look how pink it looks. Nice and pink. Ah. Well, I'm gonna give it Hi honey, remember, remember to tell them not to forget to mix it. Do not forget to keep stirring it every once in a while so all the shrimp gets cooked right by the lemon. Okay, you guys? Because I'm not repeating myself. <laughs> okay, guys, so it's been a couple of minutes already. You guys already know. We chopped up everything. Aquí tenemos el cilantro, this half of this cucumber that was still left. We might need it, we might not, but yeah. So pretty much in here, this bowl, we have already everything chopped off. We have our, what is our cucumbers, nuestro onion, our tomato, and on the very bottom, we got our um, serrano chiles. And on the side right here, we got our crab, and then we're just waiting for the shrimp to get like pretty cooked, you know, pretty nice and pink, so we can just throw everything in there. And then, yeah, well, I'll show you guys when we put in the salt and everything, and when we mix it, and we do the taste testing, and you already know the dealy, yo. But if you guys are still watching my video right now, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and just subscribe to my channel. You guys are already here watching this video, so you might as well subscribe. And yeah, I'm just hold on tight, and I'm gonna show you guys when I'm done. Okay, my people, my lighting is not that great in my fridge, so I have to like kind of work with it, but it's pretty much ready. It's already been like an hour. It's pretty much pink, as you guys can tell. Like, it was super like gray looking. Now it's like very pinkish, and then like that's what we want. 
so right now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in the hive on here and like let it consume for like five to ten minutes, you know, because the hive was like already like cooked. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna let it like absorb in there for like ten minutes, and then I'll add in all the veggies and y'all know the dealio. Okay, so Chris is gonna help me insert the hive in there. Ew. I don't, I don't really eat that. I don't think I caught that, but you ready to put it in there? yeah, put it in there, and then we're gonna let it sit for like ten minutes. Ten minutes, like I said, guys, we're gonna let it. We have our veggies, our veggies there, like our like our onion and stuff, yeah, our right cilantro, right and they just sneeze. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be fire, guys. Fire. And this is like already a lot for me and Chris, because it's just me and Chris. So this bowl is like definitely a lot for me and you, huh, huh, yeah. huh honey, baby? Very <laughs> Yeah, this, my ceviche always comes out good. Huh, Chris? Fire. Fire. Our ceviche. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Chris doesn't like to be left out. Even what though. Help he helps me even though I'm the one. The hard part is the lemon. Yeah. Kind of. Everything's hard, honestly. Yeah, everything is hard. Every, like the chopping, like chopping everything up is pretty. That's like the part about it. But other than that, it's worth it because it's super bomb. I love ceviche. This is probably one of my favorite dishes. I love ceviche. Like if I could eat it every day, I would. Type of stuff. But I would too. It's so good. But yeah, guys, um, shout out to my dad because he's always hooking it up with the shrimp. So shout out to you, Pops. Always coming through. Make sure we have one. But yeah. yeah. I'm looking a little crusty right now because it's been a while. I've been moving up and down. But so Chris kind of, well, we kind of got carried away. We just put everything in already, but you guys already knew what we had. Um, yeah, we were mixing everything together. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, um, we're mixing it right now, and then I'm going to add some salt to it. And you guys are going to see right now how much salt. Can I put this? No, I'm just put my... Okay, well, we're just gonna add salt right now, and I'll show you guys right now when we add it. Okay, guys, so once we're like kind of uh, mixing it and stuff, we're not gonna fully mix it like fully yet because we're gonna add the salt still. If you guys do not add salt again, it will not have any taste in your ceviche. Just an FYI. So here we go, we're gonna add some salt. Don't get scared because it does require a pretty good amount of salt, guys. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait till let me lay, yeah. Let me. Okay, so we're gonna put that and we're gonna st stir and then uh, we're gonna add a little bit more and then we're gonna taste and then we're gonna stir and then we're gonna taste it and then, then that's how we go. That's how you kind of have to, um, Lo tienes que adivinar, you know? There's no measurements. You just have to um, adivinar it and taste it. Y a ver como sale, you get me? You already know. Con huevos, Chris. I don't want to make a mess. Oh. Here's you have to clean it. Okay, <laughs> I'll kidding. clean it. I'm just but every piece counts as a shrimp. I don't want to lose all the shrimp. Yeah, but this is looking so fire, guys. Need a big spoon. Chris is tasting it. Chris is always my ta my test ta taste tester. A little tongue twister. You can't tell. Let me get a good piece. Yeah, get a tostada if you want, and kind of you know do it. Maybe a little bit more, I think. You want more to try it? More salt? No, yeah, I think it will need more salt. Okay. So, we're going to add more salt. Let me see. I'm just going to coat this top again. Like. Like that. Mm, guys, look how bomb this is looking. I'm like so freaking excited to try this. Mmm. Look at this fire. Oh. 
Okay, guys, so yeah, we're kind of done. We are done um, putting salt, and we put a pretty good amount of salt. Like I said, you do have to put an amount of salt. And like I said, again, I don't have a measurement. Like, us Mexicans, you know, us Mexicans, we just, I, the mom says, I adivinale. You know, and you taste it as you go. So, that's my tip for you guys. And yeah. Right now, once I'm fully done, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge for a bit more. But after that, I'll give you guys a taste test and how it. Give me. You want more? Mas. Mas. Okay. She liked it. She liked it. Okay, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna be back right now when I'm done with this video. Video. <laughs> Okay guys, so we're done. We're finally done after hours and hours. Just kidding, after pretty good hours or so. I'm finally gonna do. Um, I got an aguacate, two of them, and they came out like black. So I usually like to eat it, I like to put it on top of it some aguacate, you know? But so sad. <laughs> so we're just gonna eat it like that. And of course you can add some of um tapatio. Tap your tio. <laughs> Okay, so did you get them the close up of this thing? I'm doing it right now. Okay, Look at guys. that. Mm. So I'm just gonna prepararme mi tostada. And we're back. Okay, guys, so now we're gonna do the taste test to see how this is. I'm excited. Mmm. Mommy, mommy, ow. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look, Sophie wants to. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, guys. No. Another one. It's so good. No. Making me hungry now. Mm. No. Mommy. Mm. Mommy. Can me? Can me? Can me? Oh. Mm. Okay, guys. That's it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this cooking with me. Um, If you guys like cooking videos or like my cooking videos, let me know down below. Because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like people like are like, oh, who cares, Melissa? Nobody cares. But let me know if you guys like to see videos like this so I can get more inspired, you know? So I can get more inspired to cook, or not, to cook, to film me cooking more. So yeah, this is it for this ceviche video. I hope you guys really enjoy. Don't forget the thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Don't forget the thumbs up. Please give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. 2020, I have a lot of um, videos in mind, guys. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, this is it for this video. I have my tostada here waiting for me because I'm about to munch. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for staying till the end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.